Hi viewers! Now uh, some of you may not have noticed but uh, it was the uh, 11th anniversary of my YouTube channel a little while ago so I uh, treated myself to some new silver and uh, one of the pieces was obviously what was in the title which is the UK version of the Liberty and Britannia. Now I would have liked the US version as well actually because it doesn't have uh, a certain person on it <laughs> but I, I, when I looked I could only see the proof ones for about $90 so I, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether they was, there was a bullion I'm guessing there must be a bullion version of it in the US but uh, obviously it doesn't feature King Chuck but uh, anyway there you have the uh, British version we've got Lady Liberty and uh, Britannia, uh, which is the, um, oh god, I've forgotten what year design Britannia that comes from, but <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter. There's uh, Britannia and Liberty, as you may all have seen, and many of you may have got these already, I don't know. But obviously the uh, British version has the uh, now recognisable uh, King Chuck on the obverse, and the uh, pattern in the field. Let's see if we get a close up. Oh, we don't want to get too close because all the milk spots will show up. Yeah, these things really are dreadful. Um, yeah, all the stuff from the raw mint is just hideous. And uh, which is why I only got a couple. One for myself and uh, one for Eagle who I will be seeing over the Easter holiday. And uh, so anyway, let me know your thoughts on the Liberty and Britannia coins. Are you getting any? Um, have you got them already? Have you got the US version or the, uh, the US version, I think, is a medal because it didn't have a face value on. Well, that was the proof one I saw anyway. Whereas obviously this has got a face value of two pounds. Anyway, what else did I buy myself? Well, some more new King Chuck coins. I'm not uh, totally convinced on this Canadian uh, effigy of King Charles. But at least it's better than the, uh, <laughs> the last Queen one they did, which I thought was hideous. Uh, let's have a compare of the two. Definitely seem to have a longer snout or his nostrils are bigger or something but <laughs> but anyway so yes so I got the uh, a couple of the milk spot free Canadian maples now uh, I must say you know hats off to them for finally getting on top of the bloody milk spotting business you know because uh, these new Britannias absolutely no issue and the quality of the minting is uh, you know outstanding as well and obviously they got this micro engraving down there I'm not going to zoom in right on it because we probably wouldn't be able to see anyway but um, yes yeah, so hats off to them for finally getting on top of it and I think you should uh, give the raw mint some flipping tips on it I think <laughs> anyway so uh, I've got a couple maples and also um, very impressed with the um, Golden Eagle, the Maltese Golden Eagle that uh, featured in the last video. So I got these uh, backdated 2023 Maltese Cross. Now these come already in a capsule and unusually on my channel, I will tell you shortly how much I paid for each of these so yeah very impressive job on these reflection of my window there so quite reflective um, it's a shame they adopted the euro but anyway <laughs> it is what it is um, yeah done quite a nice nice job on those and I say these actually came in the capsule already whereas the others don't now um, 
for those in the UK who might be interested in what I paid, because I did see a comment from someone on uh, on a video the other day saying the cheapest they could find was £30 an ounce in the UK. Well, I will tell you that the maples, the 2024 maples with the new, obviously first year of having King Chuck on the obverse, they were £23.50. Uh, the Maltese Cross was uh, £25 and the Liberty and Britannia, where is it? Uh, Liberty and Britannia's were £25.50 each. So yes, not £30 for an ounce of silver. And uh, for those who haven't spotted it, yes, I have got tendinitis in my wrist from working my wood. <laughs> Let's test the Liberty and Britannia, shall we? Down the slide. Lovely and slow. And where's that maple? Run that down the cherry slide. Lovely and slow. And uh, for those of you in the US who haven't been able to grab one of my slides yet, there will be a new shipment coming across after Easter. Uh, and I'll include a couple cherries as well. Anyway, as it says on my mug, keep calm and keep stacking. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.